Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Crucible Chat! Yes, it's Saturday, it's that time of the week where I get a rant about whatever the hell I want to. My name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addicts, and as you can see in the background, we ha I have some awful, awful Evolve gameplay. I was matched up with some really bad, well, not really bad players, they were all quite good in their own individual way, but no one fucking worked as a team. Uh, in this particular game, playing the Medic, and if I run over with what I'm about to say, you might see a bit of uh, Assault gameplay. Anyway. So, this week I want to talk to you about, well, something that's been pressing on my mind. Um, I saw a video earlier in the week, which is inspired, well, it's inspired the title of this one anyway. Um, I'm a member of a few Facebook groups who, with people who share videos in them, and occasionally I do look, look at some of the videos that appear there. And there was this one that caught my eye, uh, which was titled, PewDiePie is a Fraud, How to Get a Thousand Subs. And I was curious on that one. I just I, I, it struck me as a very strange title, disconnected. So I watched the video, and what it was was possibly the most insipid, most deceitful thing I've ever seen. Basically, what it was, this guy had some uh, it was either Battlefield or Call of Duty footage in the background, and he was talking about the way to get a thousand subs or the way to build your audience. Now get this, get this. Just I couldn't believe what I first heard. But the way to build an audience like that is to pick out a celebrity or a YouTuber, someone who was big, in his case he did PewDiePie, and make a video talking shit about them, whether it's true or whether it's not. Because what apparently what that gives you is clickbait that people will come into and they'll probably argue with you, but there's a very good chance you could wind up gaining a lot of subs that way because you appear in search results. And I saw that and I thought, no, this is so wrong, it is not even believable. It is the most insipid, horrible thing I've ever heard. And it is what is wrong with a lot of people on YouTube. Because everybody, I mean, everybody wants to be big. Don't get me wrong, I mean, a good friend of mine in the Watchers Game community, Rent a Hero, he posted a great thing in the group the other day about everyone wants the brass ring, everyone wants to be the best and to be as good as possible. And that is perfectly fine. That is an achievable goal. You know, everyone wants to get as big as PewDiePie. Not everyone will, but everyone wants to. But the problem is there are those who don't understand that YouTube is a community. And there are those who think that YouTube is their entire world and they must be as big as PewDiePie, or as big as Cinnamon Toast Ken, or as big as Zoella, or whoever they look up to. They must be as big as those immediately. And they're not understanding that the whole point of YouTube is that these guys didn't get huge overnight. These guys spent years crafting their art, working on what they wanted to achieve, and as a result they found a niche that people enjoyed, and that they enjoyed, and they've become big as a result of that. No, but instead, the solution, and it's unfortunately not the only, e that guy's not the only person who believes that either. That the way to gain a thousand subs is to just basically tear the shit out of somebody else, even if it's a lie. Which I think is the worst part. It's one thing talking shit about somebody, but it's another thing just making shit up. I mean, for fuck's sake, that is just completely wrong. But, I mean, I was reading through the comments as well. I mean, this video had like 80 views by 10 man so. Um... And there were lots of people saying, hey, that's a really good idea, I'm going to try that. Or, yeah, you, you rock, man, this is a really good uh, good idea, I want to get a thousand subs by doing this. I'm going to make a video now. It's like, fuck off, my god, do you not realise what you're actually doing? What you're actually suggesting that you do is just... The, I, I imagine it was a lot of about 50 videos appearing on YouTube that day, which is all, PewDiePie's a fag, or PewDiePie's shit, or... PewDiePie told my mom this, and oh my fucking god, please just get a grip and realize what you actually need to do to get big. And I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do to get a thousand subs on YouTube. And before I even start, I know you'll be going, but Mike, you only have 100, 500 subs or something. Yes, but I'm closer to a thousand now than I've ever been. <laughs> I'm definitely closer to a thousand than I am to zero. Anyway, the way to get a thousand subs is to be yourself and work hard. It's not a tricky concept to wrap your head around. You have to be patient. I mean, it's taken me around about 18 months to get to 560 something subscribers, which is what I am at the time of making this video. It is not, I have not gone over now. I, I used to do sub for sub, back when I thought that's how you did YouTube. 
And then I slowly realised, or rather quickly realised, that sub for sub was not the way to go. And ever since then I refused to do it. I want viewers, I want people to come to my channel who enjoy listening and watching what I put out there. Because I know, I mean, Crucible Tech, the gameplay in the background is completely inconsequential. Because what, what the point of this is, is for me to talk about what I want to talk about. And people come back week on week to listen to this. To actually, you know, join in with a conversation about what I'm saying. And this isn't me being big-headed. This I'm just telling you how my channel works. My Let's Plays, people enjoy watching me go through series. And that's what I like. That's why I've got the subs that I've got. And that's why every day I'm creeping closer to that golden nugget of a thousand subscribers. And, you know... My friends have done this. Big Wilbowski, he's at like some like 1,600 subscribers. He started off from nothing. He's built his channel up from nothing. He didn't do sub for sub. He didn't go around slagging people off for the sake of it. By Polar Bear. He, re he deleted his channel and started again, and he's already over 100 subscribers. I mean, it took me months to get over 100 subscribers. There is no quick trick to become big on YouTube. To become big on YouTube, you have to play the long game you have to be very confident of who you are and you have to know your brand you have to be able to sell yourself people will come back unless you are doing a purely tutorial channel like how to use photoshop or how to use sony vegas where people will just you know it'll appear in search search results and people will find you that way if you want to be a gaming channel you have to have something for people either it's your personality the games you're playing the style you're doing you know you could be doing like how to how to unlock all the weapons in Call of Duty or something like that, you know, you, you know that kind of thing. Or if there's some skill or, you know, like my friend Punchball Gaming, he does, um, he's doing Evolve and he's doing game specific gameplay videos on all the different hunters and monsters and that kind of thing. You know, you have to have a niche, you have to do something individual. And this then gets me to thinking about another video that I saw, actually today. Um, my friend Ben, or Banzo the Hedgehog, he he re released a video today that I will kind oh, of want right, to touch on and respond to because that was while well, the video I was talking about earlier was like the shitty shitty awful end well, of YouTube Ben's video was the great end I'm going to link it in the description so make sure you go and check it out and throw Ben some love because he's a really cool guy but now Ben got himself a bit bummed out because he did a video earlier in the week uh, about Grand Theft Auto 5 and it's basically him importing his character from Grand Theft Auto Online from his old PS3 um, and then getting himself set back up in the game and, you know, jamming around in Los Santos for a little bit. And it didn't get a lot of views. You know, it didn't get a lot of views by Ben's standards or by anybody's standards, really. Which is a shame, because, I mean, to be fair, the videos were fairly good, and Ben is a great YouTuber. And it, but he got himself bummed out about it, and he made this video about saying YouTube is fun. And I didn't know that Ben got bummed out about it. He never actually said anything to us. I didn't realise until I saw the video. But... What I wanted, wanted to say, and it's to kind of reiterate Ben's point in the video, because what Ben said was that he does YouTube for fun. And the point, and his point is that he makes these videos because he wants to. And it, it, he loves that people share his opinions. But it's a case of, he did something that didn't work. He made a video that people didn't want to watch, and in the terms of his Grand Theft Auto Online video. And it's an experiment. And he got himself bummed out, and he really shouldn't have. Because at the end of the day, no one has... A, a hit. I mean, hell, I did a, I did an entire series last year of The Walking Dead without kind of thinking that people. That, I mean, I was playing, I was doing the PS4 version after, like, immediately after it came out. But I never thought that The Walking Dead is like a three-year-old game now, and everybody's seen it. Everybody knows the story. I didn't because I was ignorant. But, you know, everybody knew the story, and that series didn't work out for me in the same way that my Evil Within series didn't work. I um. But I, d I did them for fun because I did them because I loved them. And those two series didn't get massively high views, same with Lego Batman 3, but I enjoyed the hell out of playing them. I enjoyed the hell out of making the videos. And the people that did watch them, they enjoyed them. And that is the key thing because if you're not enjoying what you're doing, if you're doing it just so you can become big on YouTube, so you can say you have a cool job that you make videos for a living, you're never going to make a living off YouTube. You have to enjoy this. I mean, I do this for the love of it. I don't I make hardly any money. I make a pittance of it. It's, I mean, it's come apart, like I said, by Paul, but he deleted his channel. He doesn't even monetize now. He's not asked about the money. He does it because he loves doing it. And that is the point. If you don't love doing this, if, if you see it as a job when you are small, you will never enjoy it. And you, 
uh, you know, if you're contemplating cheating to get to a thousand subscribers or to add a thousand subscribers to your channel, no matter how big you are, then you're never going to make it on YouTube because if you have to cheat, you're not doing it right, and people will find out. You know, if if you bought, if you do the like the sub train, uh, subscriber train websites and shit like that, all you're going to do is end up being deleted, banned, ignored. I mean, I've said it in videos before, you can have 100,000 subscribers, you only got 1,000 views on your channel. You're doing something incredibly wrong. It. Anyone else? <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's as simple as that. You need, the, you need the views. I mean, subscribers can drive views, but you need to fo people need to focus less on their sub count, more on their view count. But even more than that, they just need to focus on enjoying it. Enjoy being a YouTuber. Don't listen to idiots who have quick solutions to get you thousands of subscribers. Because the, ma fa the fact of the matter is, I'm sorry I'm spilling over my tongue here. Uh, the fact of the matter is, there is no quick fix for YouTube. It is a hard, complicated system to work in. There are so many factors that can determine your success or your failure. And at the end of the day, if you don't love doing YouTube for the sake of doing YouTube, then something is clearly wrong. And I've rambled completely on for far too long, because I've probably gone around the same point about three or four times, but you know what? Ben gets it. He's a small YouTuber, he's a small channel, and you should all check out his video, show him some love, because he's a really nice guy. Um, I'm not going to link the video that I was talking about before, the guy who was promising a thousand subscribers for saying shit about PewDiePie. Because at the end of the day, arseholes like that don't deserve the attention. I'm already wasting far too much of my own oxygen talking about him, but... I, yeah, this this really got my goat this week, so... If you enjoyed this, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you think below in the comments. Um, yes, I, I appreciate this video's got a slightly clickbaity title, but to be fair, the title is related to what I'm talking about. Um, but yes, please let me know what you think in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support every, every single one you gives to me on my channel and I'll see you on the next one. For now, good night.